Yo, 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 what's happening, people? I hope everybody's doing well. I thought I'd do this video for everybody just to give them the insight into what's been going on in crypto and what to expect next, all right? And that's usually the case, guys, isn't it? We're always wanting to know what to expect, all right? But if we understand what has happened, we might get a good idea of what is likely to happen next, all right? Now, if you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Traders Reality. My name is Tino. Let's have a conversation. So let's break this down. What's happened today? Oh, we had a little bit of success by Bitcoin. We had the initial move to the upside going into the US Brinks box, making the move up, and then they pulled it straight back down. A lot of traders got shook out today. Many traders had to pay the price for going long in this zone. You see, when you see these big green vector candles right here, in one whole hour, they were giving the retail trader the belief that the market was now going to turn to the upside. This is why it's so important that you pay attention to what's been going on in a whole hour candle or whatever candlestick that you are paying attention to, whether it's the one minute, the 10, the 15, the four hour lead, the 20 hour, whatever it is, you have to understand how it develops into that candle. Now, we've been waiting for Bitcoin to finalize this cyclical move to the downside. OK, it started on Thursday last week. OK, we've had the peak formation, drop level one, drop level two. OK, now we've had this next drop. Now, we would deem this to be a drop level three going into a peak formation because that's the criteria. However, they have brought price back into this zone and now they're coming back down again. Two things can happen here. They are either preparing for a level three drop because sometimes you can get the w formation right here you get the rise level one rise level two rise level three peak formation then drop level one drop level two drop level three peak formation to the upside see this is where we are right now in the chart okay sometimes they tend to extend the levels there is such a thing as an extension of the level all right they may not be finished with the zone. Now, when you look at the chart itself, you can see that we've got a lot of liquidity coming down in this area here. Is it possible that Bitcoin could actually break down and test the 50? You see green vectors, green vectors, green vectors, but they start to slow down in this zone. Now, there is a lot of talk about Bitcoin going in one direction against the next. Everyone is speculating Bitcoin's going to go to 100K still. Those are the traders who are in denial. Okay. Those are the people that you can't throw off. They don't care what direction Bitcoin is taking. They are Bitcoin. Be wary of those people if you are trading. Because they will make you believe, yeah, man, Bitcoin, okay, cryptocurrency is booming. Yeah, everything's being adopted. You know, everyone's accepting Bitcoin. It's been it's a great run for Bitcoin right now. But guys, whatever we need is in front of us right now. Irrelevant of whatever anyone is saying about it. That includes me. What I say about Bitcoin right now may be relevant. It may not be relevant. It's all going to be based on what it decides to do from this point in the chart. Okay. Now, look at what's been going on. The development of this W formation. Well, we need to understand why we are expecting this to be a W to play out. Okay. So first things first. In last night's stream, we were talking about this W formation. Okay. We are expecting that the rejection of the 50 EMA was going to show potential vector creation zones in this area now what is this this is an area where you are expecting the vector candle to appear so it can formulate the second leg of the w formation right there okay now if we drop over to the four hour time frame you will see bright as day that we actually had the vector candle created in that zone all right now why is it important that you get into the habit of doing this because you are understanding you're trying to decipher the pattern you're trying to understand at what point is the market maker going to step in to induce the retail trader to believe that price is going to go one direction against the next. Remember, the market maker develops his move. All right. He just doesn't move it in one instance unless it's a financial news play where it's just thrown everybody off and it's been completely chaotic. For example, look at the El Salvador. Go to the 7th of September when they declared that El Salvador was making Bitcoin the um, legal tender and everyone was so pumped up about Bitcoin. Why on earth did Bitcoin drop that day? Hey, everybody was so pumped about it at that point. 
There was the thing on Twitter about go and spend $30 on Bitcoin to help El Salvador and what have you. Well, look at how much people were committed to the upside of Bitcoin and then bang, they smacked price down and sent it to the pits. There was no news. It was positive news. So why did they do that? Because they had enough liquidity trapped in that zone. They had traders committed in that zone. Now, this is important, guys. If this W plays out, the only reason why I think it may play out is because the vector candle right here hasn't actually gone below the previous zone. Now, although this candlestick right here has shown a violation of the previous area, now you can see it's literally on the T. Look at that. It's smack bang right on the previous leg of the W formation. But we need to also accept that what if they actually continue lower? Because the fact that they initiated a stop hunt rise in this point in the chart and then sent price down lower, they may favor lower prices. We may be going into an extended peak formation. In other words, level three drop may actually happen. So what is it that we need to be aware of? First things first, this is the four hour time frame. So you need to drop down to the one hour time frame. Okay. I'm not seeing notable candlesticks appearing in this area. We have gone below the range daily low in the chart. Now, price has deviated away from the 50 EMA. So what do I need to be thinking about next? Well, if they are going to go lower, we do have pools of liquidity that they could come down to. Okay. Which then takes me over to the good old book map of Bitcoin. Okay. So let me just extend this out. Reduce the brightness on your screens if it's going to hurt your eyes. But here we go. So this is the book map. I'm going to just reduce the levels and get the right amount of orders visible so we can understand where the liquidity is currently sat in the chart. OK, so here we go. As it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a plethora of orders stat, stat, sat at the 55K zone. That's really important. OK, now you've got the 54,500 zone in the chart as well. Looking at the book map itself, the volume is showing it's not really that much. It's between the sellers and the buyers here, the pressure between the two. However, the book is imbalanced, which is favoring limit buys. So they may be pushing price down lower from this point. OK, now these points in the chart right here are where limit orders have been sat. They fulfilled those orders. And the principle says that if price makes its way back down towards those zones, these orders are going to get triggered again to, in other words, interest is going to step in to keep price above that zone. Now, you can see at the 55,000 mark, there is 605 Bitcoin getting ready to get filled. At the 54,500 mark, there's 299 Bitcoin sat there in the order book. Now, this is the order book across one, two, three, four, five exchanges. Bitstamp, Binance, FTX, GDAX and Kraken. All right. So we need to try and work out what are the chances of them actually sending price down to this point? I'm not seeing liquidity being planted in this area. Yeah, you've got liquidity at 57,400. But what I've been noticing on the book map is whenever there's static orders in the order book. All right. If price doesn't actually make its way towards that zone to encourage traders to start filling limits to move price higher, they will cancel these orders and move them down just so they can get a closer fill. This game is about luring traders to make commitments. All right. You can see, look how that appeared and that disappeared. It went bright yellow and then it disappeared as well. You can see now that this area right here is starting to reduce. Look, 605. They're reducing the amount of Bitcoin, 605.3. So they're toying with the range. OK, they're keeping it static and leaving orders there. Are they doing that because they anticipate Bitcoin to go down lower? Bringing over the chart, we've got the 55,000 zone right here, okay? And then the 54,500 zone right there, which is over the vector candle zone. So the idea is this. If this zone is going to get filled, price is going to drift ever so slightly, tap this liquidity up here, and then make the move to the downside. Will that be the retrace continuation to the downside? Because we've got extension, we've gone beyond the range daily low. So we do need to bring price back into the fray to encourage traders to believe that something's going to change. All right. So if Bitcoin does decide to break down lower, we expect the 55 and the 54,500 to be points in the chart which they may initiate the creation of a pattern. And it can go as deep as 53. If we look at the actual order book itself and zoom up, 
you can see 54 has got a bag of orders and so does 53,500 and look at that look at all of this there is nothing up here look at all these orders that are looking to get filled every time they are going to hit these zones they're going to bounce away from them okay market maker will hit those longs move price down lower bring price back up to hit the liquidations of them make them believe that the shorts are going to step in initiate the shorts bring price back down again they are going to do this all the time okay 50,000 seems to be a point in the chart that they may be favoring 425 bitcoin stacked up there 223 at the 52 and 344 at the 54 and 603 at the 55 what are you starting to see you're starting to see the whole numbers are the most important numbers in the chart, which is why they build longs and build shorts above or below those key notable areas. Yeah? Bring it back. Here's an example. 59,500. It's a whole and half number, sorry. Okay? So they build the shorts above those zones. Move price above it, drop it down. Move price above it again, drop it down. The final third hit, what do we say? The market makers work in threes. One, two, three hits to the high, drop it back down. So if we are going to see price simply come down and break down below this area right here, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see a little bit of a retrace, but we may likely get the continuation lower. And it's in these zones right here, ladies and gentlemen, where we may see the formation of a pattern being created because there's not any interest coming up in these areas right here. I've actually set this so it presents to me the bigger orders in the chart, which are likely to make the movements in the price. Now, if I actually zoom out like that, you're going to see all of the retail traders mini orders coming into the chart. And there's still nothing up here other than this 60K zone bit. It's all about the 50, 52, 53, 54. You've got 53, 600 as well, and the 54, 600, and you've got the 55 zone right there. Do you see how red it's getting right there, ladies and gentlemen? Are you seeing that? They are stacking orders in that area. Look, 121 Bitcoin, 80, it's getting absorbed up. Okay? So just keep yourself aware of that. There's always looking at price, but at the same time, we need to understand what's going on behind the formation of the candlestick. That's how we're going to understand the market maker's footprint. What are the chances of him sending price into that direction? He can see the liquidity is getting put into the charts. This is dead money to them because they can get their orders filled. Yeah? I hope that puts things into perspective for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you notice yesterday when I did my thumbnail, I put an image up and it was the book map across the whole month. Okay? Now, we set to focus on these key levels right here. This was the 60 zone. This was the 58 zone. This is the 55 zone. And, of course, the 54. All right? Now, <laughs> it's very interesting what we're starting to see across the board with the book map. Remember, this is Bitcoin across five platforms. All right? So, it skews the data into one thing and makes us understand that, yeah, it looks like they are favoring lower prices because there's nothing happening up here. Okay? Now, remember, guys, this isn't financial advice. This is me just presenting to you the context of what this book map is saying to me. It's showing me that there are orders in this zone. Whether they hit them or not is a different story. Okay. Now, looking at Bitcoin in terms of its day move, um, intraday movements that happened yesterday. So we were doing this. In the stream, we were talking about this potential play by Bitcoin when it started to break down from the first hit to the upside, second hit to the upside on the 15 minute time frame. All right. We anticipated price to drop, retrace, continuation to the downside. We had that projection complete. OK, and that was on the 15 minute time frame. As you can see, there it is right there. The 15 minute time frame. What's the purpose of me showing you this? Because when you're waiting for a certain cycle or a pattern to play out, ladies and gentlemen, you need to get into the habit of making, being accountable for the decisions that you are making. You have to say to yourself, I'm making the conviction that I think price is going to drop, it's going to retrace, and then it's going to continue to the downside to formulate the second leg of the W formation. Draw it out. And the only reason why you need to draw it out, guys, is because you're capturing price at that point in time. And all you have to understand here is they've built the shorts above the key zone right here. You dive into it, you can see they're stopping volume candle one and two. All right. The price movement to the upside tells me they're favoring higher prices to build the shorts. Okay. 
Look at how the pullbacks to the zone right here are controlled. They don't want it to go any lower just yet. They're not finished with the zone. They bring price one more time to the upside, initiate a green candle, red candle formation, spike to the upside and pull it back down again. Now, this little stop hunt rise right here in the Sydney sh session with the failure of the green vector candle to close at the highest point rejects the daily open. That was where I made the assumption that they are going to drop price down to recover this previous zone of liquidity in the chart. And they actually fulfilled that zone and went down even lower. OK, they went all the way beyond the 56,400 zone and they came all the way down to 55,730. OK, but given with what happened here, right here, ladies and gentlemen, all right, this was just the trap because everyone decided to go short. So the market maker made them pay, made them change their mind. Oh, my goodness. Bitcoin's now gone to go making the move to the upside quickly, change your positions, close your shorts and start buying long, go long with Bitcoin. And they kept them for a whole hour doing this. All right. For one whole hour, they kept them going for it. Look at it. Look at that big vector candle right there. For one hour, they kept the retail trader indecisive and making him believe that Bitcoin was going to keep on going to the upside. It came above the 50 and just went further and further. And funnily enough, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably going to say that is unbelievable. But look at what Bitcoin did. And I know some of you guys took this trade. It tapped the range daily high. We know the range daily high is the point in the chart where the market is the absolute high that price can make or achieve in one session. Doesn't mean that it has to stick to it, but you can tell when it does stick to it how you could exploit it as well. Okay? The way you can tell if it's going to stick to it, if it's made most of its move from the lows and it's recovered a lot of ground, okay, and its, and its next candle doesn't close above it. OK, because sometimes price drifts towards the range daily high and it continues and trades away from it. But when it happens in one candle, you know full well that they're going to reject that zone and pull straight back because it was an anomaly in the chart. OK. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to roll over to Ethereum quick time just to give you the breakdown on what to expect with Ethereum. Pretty much copying what Bitcoin's doing. Go to the big three, roll out to Ethereum right there. You can see she's at her range daily low as well. But the great thing about Ethereum is this. She's now actually created even a third hit. Here's the third hit. One, two, and three, which is a variation of a W formation in the chart. Look, that is the variation of the pattern. Okay. Now look, 50, 800. 200 they're pretty much flat across the board there's no clear direction with them price has just moved too fast this could be the false move this move to the downside could be the false move that sets everyone up to believe that price could actually go down lower and you know what they may even continue down lower okay they may even just do that how long are they going to be inducing traders to believe that price is going to drop OK, you can see we've got the book map that's showing us all the orders that are coming in here. But remember, if there is a lot of orders coming in this area right here, does that mean that those orders are going to act as support? Just because we see the orders stacked here doesn't mean that we are going to see them. There's no guarantee because behind all of these orders in this chart right here, there is commitment by traders. So what I'm saying to you is, is if price does come down lower and hits this point in the chart, it may actually bounce from this zone and move back up because all the support has come in and the amount of orders has just saturated that area right here. Now, if you do have bookmap yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, just keep an eye on the orders of Bitcoin in here. The static ones like here, the 604 right there, when that starts to get reduced down in price or sorry, in the, the amount of Bitcoin, say that goes down to 500, you know full well that they're trying to move their orders up higher so they can get filled sooner. But if it stays static, then there's a good chance that they may actually see that point in the chart. And it's the 55 zone as well. It's a key notable area. OK. Looking at the altcoins across the board, ladies and gentlemen, we've had some good winners. Now, I've seen this disparity with Jasmine coin and Bitcoin. Every time Bitcoin drops, this bad boy right here tends to go up. And I'm going to be paying attention to this coin. Every time Bitcoin drops, this coin's disparity shows the movement in the opposite direction. It's unbelievable. Sanders had a little bit of success today. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Continuing the pattern rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Perfect example. All right. Remember what we were saying on Sunday night about the coins that are pulling back to key notable areas. 50 EMA 
when the trend resumes and if the beef uh, sorry if the beef if the <laughs> if the actual pressure of the movers in the market are favoring to move price higher okay then they will bounce from these zones i wanted to say bounce not beef <laughs> anyway Looking at Gala, Gala has done very well as well, guys, right? This will be the third attempt, second attempt, sorry. So look, rise up, retrace, formulate a W formation at the 50, bounce away from the zone. Now we've got the same thing happening here, but we could actually be formulating a, well, it could be an inverted head and shoulders point in this zone right here, all right? Because we've got three hits, we've got one, two, and three, and they keep sticking to the 50 EMA, all right? So remember, when a coin's making all-time highs, all you have is whatever is left behind from the all-time high and that's all we have so is this another opportunity for them to go long so they can build up their positions and then get ready to move out the zone or are they actually going to break down because there wasn't that much commitment to get longs filled at that point if they favored higher prices if we bring over the book map itself we can understand where we are with gala here we go so where are the orders with gala let's bring it down 40 cents orders sat that right there okay now, if we keep on going and keep going, we can see that we're not actually getting much interest above 40 cents. I'm waiting for it to actually set up. You can see it's not actually going above 44 cents. The key zones are 38 and 37, 36, 40, not even 40. It's just slightly below that point. 719,880 gala is being filled at 40 or just before 40 cents. Okay. So keep an eye out on that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, guys, I have chewed your ear off for the best part of 20 minutes, and I wanted to keep it short and sweet. But check this out. If you are new to the channel, all right, and you want to get hold of all these indicators, get yourself over to the Traders Reality website and start with the first things first tab right here. All right? Start with that, and it's going to give you everything that you need. You're going to have everything on what you need to do, access to the indicators. You can get everything you need. And also, if you don't want to use TradingView and you want to use MT4, okay, you could just go there, start here, and go to the platforms, and it will have all the information there for you, and it will include playlists on how to download everything and everything that you need, guys. You know, it's all on that website, so you've got access to it. It's like a one-stop place for you to just get everything that you need because a lot of people in the streams are asking me, where do I get this indicator, that indicator? We have the Discord for that, okay, but some people may not be too savvy with the Discord, so I've just created this platform, the website part on there, just so you guys have access to get that information, all right? Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, mad love and respect to all of you for passing through. I won't be going live tonight, but I just want to thank you all for actually watching this. And one more time, I can't, I can't keep away, man. I cannot keep away. One more time, keep an eye out on what they do in this zone. There is liquidity for them to take. The question is, will they take it? And on what basis will they take it on? Are they going to take it because the liquidity is present in the limit book, in the book map itself or the order book of Bitcoin? All right. Or are they going to take it because they still haven't finalized the cyclical move to the downside? OK, remember, Monday is a false move. So could all of this be a false move to set price up to make the move to the upside? OK, how far to the upside is a different question, ladies and gentlemen. OK, now earlier on, actually, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. All right. Earlier on, I was trying to find that information on the glass node. OK. And I was trying to see if it's going to present it. No, it's not going to give it to me. There must be something wrong with the website. Please shed any light on that, guys, because it's just not letting me get access to that platform at all. All right, and I'll keep it short and sweet from there then. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's video. Mad love and respect. And I will catch up with you tomorrow at 2 p.m. for the New York session stream. All right, mad love and respect to you guys. Peace.